Liver cirrhosis occurs after many years of chronic, progressive damage where healthy liver tissue is extensively replaced with non-functioning scar tissue. This prevents the liver from properly carrying out its many critical functions vital to maintain overall health and homeostasis. These impaired duties include regulating blood sugar levels, removing toxins and waste products, synthesizing essential proteins, storing nutrients and minerals, metabolizing drugs, producing bile for digestion, and much more. While very advanced end-stage liver cirrhosis with widespread destruction cannot be reversed or cured, individuals diagnosed in earlier stages have hoped to slow or even halt further progression. This is achieved through prompt specialized medical attention coupled with proactive patient-driven lifestyle modifications. Understanding common risk factors and early symptomatic warning signs also empowers patients to seek timely intervention when treatment is most likely to be effective. Implementing lasting dietary changes, exercise habits, alcohol avoidance, supplement regimens, or other positive steps also protects long-term liver health. A spectrum of concerning sexual problems like erectile dysfunction, infertility, and loss of libido are unfortunately very common in male patients with chronic liver disease at any stage. There are multifactorial drivers behind such symptoms, including significantly imbalanced sex hormones and impaired enzymatic pathways that directly regulate sexual function and diminish sex drive motivation. This substantial added physical and mental burden severely exacerbates relationship strains and damages self-confidence at the worst possible times when holistic wellness support structures may be most vital to quality of life. Cystitis refers specifically to the dangerous accumulation of fluid in the abdominal cavity, causing tremendous bloating and swelling of the midsection as well as stretching pain. It develops multifactorially including elevated blood pressure in the portal venous systems that drain the gastrointestinal organs through the liver called portal hypertension, as well as inadequate blood protein production by the liver, particularly albumin. Albumin specifically helps regulate oncotic pressure and fluid balance between vessels and tissues. Maintaining healthy body weight through smart dietary choices and regular exercise supports vessel integrity by reducing risk factors like metabolic syndrome that drive liver issues. Also restricting dietary sodium intake protects against fluid retention tendencies triggered by biochemical shifts. Easy bruising and bleeding arise when low platelet counts drastically undermine the blood's normal clotting cascade designed to halt blood loss after vessel injury. Platelets are vital formed elements produced almost entirely in the liver's parenchymal cells and bone marrow. But with chronic liver dysfunction, production falters leading to rampant thrombocytopenia. Uncontrolled oozing then occurs after even a minor bump or cut, while spontaneously formed hematomas can crop up mysteriously under skin from tiny internal leaks, therefore diligently taking precautions against trauma, while frequently inspecting over one's body surface is vital. Any unexplained visible contusions or PTECI warrant prompt medical analysis to determine the origin through blood work so proper treatment can commence quickly. Generalized fatigue and chronically depleted energy levels often burden those with diseased cirrhotic livers related to the organ's failure to properly regulate glucose release, storage, and balanced availability in the bloodstream. Such erratic sugar metabolism prevents stable cellular fuel supplies through usual daily activity. Strategic lifestyle measures like achieving adequate quality sleep, limiting processed foods, and ingesting a nutritious whole food diet may help compensate for metabolic dysregulation to some extent. However, most patients find restoring their prior vigor and endurance relies heavily upon direct clinical intervention through advanced therapies designed specifically to stimulate liver regeneration and ideally resolve the root pathophysiological issues outright. Progressive appetite loss and escalating weight loss commonly plague patients as their underlying liver cirrhosis advances, often signaling the transition to decompensation and organ failure. Multiple complex biochemical disruptions in digestion, metabolism, bile production, intestinal permeability, gut microbiota, and numerous interdependent processes undermine the body's capacity to fully derive and absorb benefit from consumed food. Although eating smaller portion nutritionally dense meals more frequently can help prevent malnutrition from drastically reduced intake, such behavioral changes only transiently treat symptoms rather than the real problem. 
Continued deteriorating weight strongly indicates necessity for prompt medical treatment typically encompassing trial nutrient mix adjustments, enzyme supplementation, liver support herbal regimens, and phase Roman II detoxification methods, in addition to possible surgical options if applicable. Spider angiomas are benign cutaneous vascular lesions that visually appear as a central red dot with spider-like branching capillaries radiating outwards. They represent localized clusters of proliferated tiny blood vessels near the skin's surface. Although generally harmless themselves, spider angiomas can indicate systemic circulatory problems rooted in long-standing chronic liver disease or specific nutritional deficiencies like iron. Accordingly, their presence merits thorough internal investigation via prompt dermatological and hepatological examination to discern other subtle evidence, helping guide appropriate nutritional support, lifestyle changes, and advanced treatment options specific to the individual's pathology and biopsy analysis. Cognitive dysfunction encompassing mental confusion, personality changes, forgetfulness, and impaired executive functioning that manifests in those with cirrhotic livers relates closely to accumulating unfiltered neurotoxic waste products and exogenous toxins circulating through the bloodstream which then permeate past the blood-brain barrier to directly start poisoning neurons. Examples include high levels of ammonia, inflammatory cytokines, nitric oxide, manganese deposition, and other elements that cause measurable destruction when allowed to congregate unchecked. With the liver essentially paralyzed and failing to properly filter and excrete these harmful compounds from the body effectively, they eventually bypass the organ altogether via portosystemic collateral circulation to cause escalating systemic devastation. Therefore, diligently maintaining strict abstinence from alcohol, even after extensive prior disease, while also aggressively treating any infections or metabolic disorders present prevents heaping additional stresses on an already barely coping liver, which threatens what limited function remains. As liver cirrhosis advances, the organ swells enormously in overall mass from accumulating scar tissue, fibrous proteins, and congested venous blood, unable to flow properly through tangled hepatic architecture. Eventually, the engorged liver grows so substantially in size that it literally enlarges up to fill the entire abdominal cavity, putting worrisome physical pressure on all surrounding organs not meant to withstand such force. This can cause chronic pain, digestive disruption, acid reflux, nausea, vomiting, cardiac abnormalities, and concerning respiratory restrictions that negatively impact quality of life. While supplemental measures like gentle heat compresses, massage, restful body positioning, and avoiding restrictive clothing may provide mild topical symptom relief, any persistent painful strain warrants prompt close clinical inspection to rule out triggering events heralding further acute disease progression. Lower extremity edema manifesting as visible leg, ankle, and foot swelling represents another common occurrence in liver disease, stemming largely from declining albumin synthesis and systemic fluid retention issues tied directly to worsening liver dysfunction. Although periodically elevating the legs may help temporarily alleviate excessive limb water weight through passive drainage, individuals should watch closely for signs of skin changes like thickening, pitting, plaques, or ulceration, as well as pain, redness, hotness, and other signals potentially indicating secondary local infection or blood clots, which can swiftly become severely dangerous if not treated urgently. In summary, prompt specialized medical investigation and follow-up represents an absolute necessity for anyone exhibiting an array of concerning unexplained symptoms synonymous with liver pathology as mentioned above. Early clinical intervention coupling targeted lifestyle modifications and advanced treatment methods offers the only reliable way to stabilize remaining functional capacity and hopefully forestall further deterioration towards complete end-stage organ failure which carries significantly higher risks of complication and reduced life expectancy if permitted to progress unchecked. All individuals concerned with upholding their continued liver health should prioritize key preventative measures like maintaining strictly moderated alcohol intake, optimal weight, regular exercise, nutritious whole food eating, routine wellness visits, and avoidance of environmental pollutants or substance abuse risks known to instigate hepatic strain, 